I made this a while back and it didn't end very well. I went from 0.4 millimeter nozzle to a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and this is what the result was. Not only were the layer lines super fine, but um, the parts of the shorts that just didn't render in the previous one were able to work out and they rendered. Uh, but this one made super fragile legs, so in order to fix that, I super glued it, as you just saw a second ago, and I took a, a soldering iron to the legs to seal the deal. Um, this was extremely tedious, and I did catch the shorts a couple times, as you'll see probably, in, yep, just right there in the back too. Oh yeah, I caught it a couple times. But, um, I was able to even it out, and it didn't really matter in the end. Another thing that I really wish I'd done differently was with the primer. Um, whenever I went to the primer, I thought, oh, the top and bottom of the layers are fine. I can easily just cake on primer for that because I really thought I could skip a couple things. Like, yep, right there. Yeah, right where I was pointing, there were a bunch of holes in the top of the head that just wouldn't take the primer. So as you didn't see earlier, I did end up at there was a little there was a couple flicks because I ended up using two primers. I ran out of my first one, couldn't find it at Walmart, so I was like, well, crap. Hopefully this other one works with it. And so I ended up shaving off little pieces, so it looks kind of like parts of it are chiseled, like kind of like on the arms. If you just take a good look while it's just shifting around here, it just it just looks like it it got crystallized or just turned into a low poly whatever that's because I took an exacto knife to shave off those little bits and I uh, took a little too much off so with this paint it's kind of like an off colored white it isn't a black uh, like an extreme white that you would normally expect but um, I did end up using that for the pupils as well as the mouth so just about any bone looking off colored white should should work So I basically just got at the stuff that was basically light colored. Also, you can see on the back that it looks like I splattered blue on there. I tried to take an airbrush to it, which that was a bad idea. It was a very smooth primer and a very bad idea to do that. So I ended up just, uh, oh yeah, I went over the shirt too. And I did a couple coats of that. But anyways, on to the blue that I was actually talking about. Um, this is Cerulean Blue. I tried airbrushing this on before, but I should have known that I had to brush on a layer of primer acrylic, some sort of acrylic paint that would help this show up well. So I ended up just painting the whole thing because I didn't realize till way later that I could have done that and it was way too late. And with the eyes, I just used black, just a really, really flat black that dried it really fast. It also made it look really creepy because my hands were shaking in the process. My hands cannot stand, uh, sit still and just let me do what I need to do. So, uh, ended up looking a little creepy after this. And the eyes look, ended up looking a little splotchy too because, you know, painting with a paintbrush. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the stuff of nightmares. So it's about time we got to the pink. Um, I'm not, I don't exactly remember what I combined to get the pink. I think it was something along the lines of just white with a hint of red. The, uh, the white was just a flat white that I used and then I used, I believe, scarlet red. Just the tiniest, tiniest touch of scarlet red. And uh, ended up touching the feet with this a couple times. I usually go back with, with the white I was using before. Keep in mind, this is an off-color white. It's not a full white. This is in case that you're uh, trying to follow along with this in some sort of manner.
Went over the chest again because that shirt really needed to be white. That white ended up being uh, the actual white because it's not supposed to be blown white. It's not like he's shirtless with a jacket on. So there's a very small difference in the whites, but it is definitely noticeable once you're not looking through camera footage. Also, if you've noticed with one of the laces of the hoodie, um, it did pop off and I think that was just a printing defect. Um, there's not really much I can do about that other than getting some really, really thick like 3D paint that you kind of squeeze through a tube. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about, but it does exist. Um, I could have bought that, but I would have only used a tiny bit of it and those things are pretty pricey. Um, just ended up painting this too. I could have easily taped a mix of dolphin putty and acetone on it to give it some sort of grippy feel, but I just didn't. So with this one, that that color, that color right there to make that plate is called Yellow Ochre. I have the little colors right here as I'm doing the voiceover. It's called Yellow Ochre. These paints are all the kind of things that Bob Ross uses for his beautiful paintings. But yeah, I thought with the consistency of me using a, a regular brush, I might as well just go the whole nine yards. So I would have had this video out maybe like two weeks into January whenever I was really starting to get committed to the project but I didn't realize how much it was going to rain and rain is not very friendly with um with spray paint and that's exactly what I was trying to do like the print was just fine that that printed like nothing but the actual like primer process is just not a great idea the flakes would have been way worse so with here for some reason I decided to be a great idea uh, to paint with black on the laces which made literally no sense they're they're white I don't even know where I got that idea from right here I'm just refining the blue I got I accidentally touched it with some other paint and I did the same thing with the black so I'm going back over the black a little bit but um, later on I do end up changing the laces and I realized that I also missed the uh, white lines on the side of his shorts. Again, I did end up fixing that later on, but not in the footage. I ended up just making a small clip at the end with the final, final finished product. So right here, I uh, ended up putting in the nose, just straight up black again. And um, I just went over the white again just to clean it up since I was already at the point of detailing. Got back at that little spot that I hit with pink on the foot. And there we go. Also, I want to point out another thing. Not only do I have school, but I also have work. So if I do get back into the whole YouTube swing, it's not going to be nearly, nearly consistent as I would have done, say, if I just had school. Because now I just get off at 5 and I just get a handful of hours to do anything by myself.
and just some more refinery with the shirt because I'm not sure why the paint really did not want to stick to this part. Stuck way better to the skull. So now we're at the dotting. This took literal dotting tools like you would see in a... This is the kind of thing that you would see in a nail painting set. The, these are basically just called dotters. I believe, like paint dotters. I ended up using them to uh, just put on some dots of paint for the eyes. I ended up using the uh, flat white per usual. And now we're off to the Tagmo area. There are plenty of guides to Tagmo that you can use online, so this isn't really a tutorial as much as it is just footage of me doing it. I ended up just uh, getting the two primary files as you see here. Um, I have used bin file, I didn't want you looking through my freaking file directory. And so afterwards, I found, went through, dug in for the Wii Gunner amiibo. And I loaded it on. I got my NFC tag and scanned it. And I wrote it to the Mii Gunner. You usually have to select the Mii Gunner, hit right, and then select amiibo. I mean, select your NFC tag, basically just putting it up to your phone if you have NFC capabilities. And in order to test it again, just try to write it again and you'll be good. So here's the actual NFC tag going into the base, basically just a sticker with some stuff on it. And I took some super glue, just some good old gel super glue, I would use Loctite. Basically just find this at any Dollar General. and proceeded to put the top part into the bottom part. I did struggle quite a bit with this, and the sad result was it busting. I think this was because I, I was previously using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, but whenever I used a 0.2, it seemed to have shrunk. So I'll, I might end up doing another one for my personal sake. Maybe not, I don't know. But afterwards, I ended up using E6000 uh, to glue it back on. I mean, glue it, just glue it on entirely. Um, this is an industrial grade glue. I believe it's usually used for wood and automotive and such. But um, I used it for a 3D print and something that I'm only going to be able to look at, not really use. So here's the old one. You can easily see that I had this going. I didn't really have a black and that right there is the area I was talking about earlier, the area that didn't render whenever printing. And I used a shiny finish which made all the imperfections shine. And the off-white was extremely off-white and if you can tell by the forehead, it doesn't, it's not even dirty on the forehead, that's just how the paint ended up. And here's the new one. I'm not sure if you can tell but there are divisions in the teeth where I did use the solid white to divide them rather than black so it doesn't look like a freaking hillbilly. Like I said earlier, I changed the laces and I changed the laces to white and I added the uh, the white part to the shorts and the black is black. The base is actually the correct color, the other one wasn't. So I used Krylon matte finish to put the finish on this thing. It made the imperfections look more handmade rather than just I kind of throw it together like the other one looks. This one just, it's not great by any means. In fact, I would love to redo this if I could, but it's just, it feels like it's too late at this point. So I redid it and I changed it to the laces right there and I added the little streak on the side. That was kind of a rush job too. It looks like it was literally just one brush stroke. Uh, obviously not great for my first one. I mean, it's pretty good for my first one. I plan to do more in the future. If you all enjoyed this video, um, I will do more, judging by however popular this gets. Um, I, I actually, I'll probably regardless do more. I already know what my next one's gonna be. So, um, have a good afternoon and good night.